Hey guys, Virginia the Buckeye Gamer here and I'm back for yet another unboxing. I do promise I'll be doing some other videos here after a while, um, which I'll go I'll go over that at the end of this video. Um, but I actually picked up something today. It was kind of a surprise buy. Um, I went to a, a retro gaming store in my area called The Exchange, um, which I've, I've talked about them on my channel a couple times before. Um, they sell uh, new and retro games as well. Um, and they also sell like, you know, DVD movies, Blu-rays, um, music CDs, just about everything you can think of, even comic books and action figures, a, a lot of stuff. It's a pretty neat store if you um, live in this part of the U.S., like Ohio, um, I think Indiana, Illinois, those states have uh, some of these stores. Um, you definitely want to check them out. But what I did pick up over there, because I was trading in a few things, um, was actually a console that I have been after for quite a while. Um, it's, um, I guess kind of an emulation console of sorts, but it plays a bunch of different systems. And that is this puppy right here, the Retron 5. And I can't really get that in full view here, but it plays a plethora of systems. So you got Game Boy Advance, which of course covers Game Boy and Game Boy Color. You got Super Nintendo, you have Nintendo, the NES, Sega Genesis, and the Famicom which the Game Boy and the Famicom games are the main reason I got this, but there is also an adapter that you can buy, which I thought about picking that up, but I didn't see any there, um, that will allow you to play Game Gear and Master System games on here, which are another couple consoles from Sega, which I'm not too familiar with either one. Um, but I'll definitely get that at some point. But yeah, I've been wanting to get one of these for a while. It'll definitely make you know, my experience with retro gaming much easier, because um, you can hook this up to an HDTV. Now, it's not the best um, emulation option out there. There are definitely better ones. Um, but being that this is an all-in-one, it's definitely, you get more bang for your buck, more or less. So let's just crack it open. I um, undid all the little tape that was on the box too to make this unboxing a little easier. So let's see. So you got your power cable. Not really gonna go over that too much. Um, these are like little, I think those are plugs there, but I'm not too sure. Um, then you have the Retron 5 controller that they include, which I hear this controller is absolutely terrible. So I'll probably just throw that away, um, but we'll see. You got your HDMI cable, seems to be a standard. And then there's um, USB cable, it's like a charging cable. And then we got the console itself. I'm not gonna worry about taking the plastic all off just yet, but here's what it looks like. So got a little area that you can put your controller in, which does not charge it. Um, but again, I'm probably not even gonna use it. So on the back, um, of course you have your place where you put your cables and I, that is an SD card slot here, I believe. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an SD card slot. But anyway, so, and then on the front, you have your power button, and then this is the Game Boy Advance slot. So again, that plays Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. And then on the top here, I'll go and take that off just to make it a little easier. We have a spot for the Genesis, there's Super Nintendo, and we got the regular Nintendo, and then Famicom. So, with that being said, guys, I am so happy that I finally got this. Um, I definitely will be doing some retro gameplay videos like uh, quite a bit more now that I have this and I'll make it a lot easier. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we can get, oh, and here's the slot here for the controllers. So let's see if I can, yeah, I'm just gonna take those off here so you guys can see. So you have the option to plug in like the original controllers or even aftermarket ones. You do see a lot of those in uh, gaming stores nowadays. So you got one for regular, oh wait, this is, that's the Genesis. That's the Genesis uh, plug there. And then there's your regular Nintendo and then Super Nintendo controller. And then there's some on the side here for two player action. So that is pretty cool. Look how they have those little rubber protectors so you don't get dirt in there too. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'm so excited to finally have it. Um, 
And so just watch out for um, some retro gameplay vids. That would be awesome, right? All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, leave a like and comment down below. Subscribe if you wish, and I'll catch you guys later. Keep on gaming and have a great day.